Hello, in this JavaScript video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a project on Windows. So first of all, recommend that you have a good favorite text editor or IDE. I am going to be using Sublime Text. It's free. It's amazing. Easy to use, lightweight. I can't say anything bad about it. And it's you know cross-platform, so it runs on Windows, Linux, Mac. You get the picture. It's amazing. Okay, so open this up. And before we actually start any code, just save the file or save a file. Go to desktop or anywhere you want. And just create a new folder. I'm going to call this project. Inside here, just save it as index.html file. There we go. And now let's just quickly whip up a HTML page. So it's going to be the simplest HTML page you've probably ever seen and html and now what we're going to do is html like so then inside here we'll put a head tag Ooh, sorry and now we're just going to put a body tag okay so now inside of here is where we can put our JavaScript code. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. Let me show you the first one. You create a script tag. You put a type. And this will be text for slash JavaScript. Like so. And inside here, you put all your JavaScript code. I'm not going to add anything you know, in this video. This is just setting you up and showing where you would actually place it. And you could actually put this anywhere you want, really. The sort of two main places that you would have it is either in the head tag. If you have it there, that means the JavaScript code will get run before, you know, what's rendered on your page. And if you want it, let's say, run after the page has been rendered, so maybe you want to move an object around a little later on, the recommendation would be to put it at the end of the body and that wouldn't be after this it would be after all your body code so for example after let's say for we'll a h1 put hello world and here is where you would put this like so and that's it the other option is and this option that I'm about to show you, you can place this anywhere you want as well. But I'm just going to place it in the head tag. Is to do the script tag again. The difference being, you have a type, same type again. Text for slash JavaScript. Instead of putting code in between here, you put src equals. And now you point to a different JavaScript file. So the JavaScript is contained in, well, a separate file. You might be thinking, why would you want to do that? And the main reason is when you create a website, especially when it becomes quite complex, you get a lot of code and it's good to abstract stuff out and, you know, group stuff together, and put it into separate files. So, you know, let's say you have a whole, you know, piece of code, you know, a lot of code just dealing with, I don't know, user accounts, for example and there's some problem with the user account you just go to that file and you look at it okay that's the problem instead of trying to go through all of this code and you don't know where exactly to look okay so before we specify this let's just click Control n create that creates a new file save and in the same location save a file as custom.js so the js extension indicates it's a javascript file Therefore, you can only run JavaScript code. Click Save. In here, you place all of your JavaScript code. Again, not going to put any JavaScript code in this video. There'll be a separate set of videos. And now here, you specify the location of said file. And because it's in the same location as this file, you just put custom.js. If it was in a folder called, let's say, awesome folder, you'll put awesome folder forward slash custom.js. Save this and we can run it now. So if I open up my web browser and let's just open it up. Is that seriously set to Edge by default? What the hell? I want to always use Chrome and always use Chrome. That's embarrassing. 
Don't get embarrassed, but that was embarrassing. So let's just, you know, as you can see, it's here. But if we right click inspect, you can let's close that down. You can see that in the head, we got both of the tags, and in the sources, you got the custom.js file as well. So that is it for this video for setting up. That's it. And now you can start coding away in JavaScript. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.